How's it going everybody? I'm Danny D. This is 7 Deadly Bananas. We are about to watch Shameless, season six, episode nine. We are approaching the end of this season, I just realized. Holy shit, what a season, if you ask me. There's been a lot of different kinds of like dramatic uh, character changes involving like Carl and, and uh, Ian. Debbie hasn't changed much. Uh, there's realizations coming coming through to her, but she seems to be just dedicated. I'm not really sure what people were talking about it. I mean, other than Mickey being gone, I understand people maybe being a little bit butthurt on that, but you know, that's not enough for me to stop watching the show or think that it's worse for any, for any other reason. I'm not seeing much of a difference, really. <laughs> what else could I say? Anyway, all right, <laughs> let's get this on. I'm a pregnant teenage mom. My boobs feel like watermelons. My hormones are going crazy and my feet hurt. But I still managed to watch last week's episode of Shameless. What the hell is your excuse? <laughs> oh, fuck you. This is interesting because they're not even making it like a serious event. It's just like a Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> He's bringing this Uzi this? home. Hey, Frankie, baby, we're off to the commune. What an idiot! You don't go home. Flying under the stars in a rural paradise, fresh air, crackling fire. Geez, that sounds nice. Should we take it uh, in? Man? Don't you need a pack? No, no, I'm good. That was a prime example of just being it. Like that is a level of freedom, you know, like being able to just get into a van and just say, "Okay, let's go." <laughs> under the circumstances, it's not good. Here under the table. Shit, yeah. What do you think this place stays open? Fuck. Excuse me. Fuck. I'm Officer Lester Hibbert from United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. Wait, what? Now we're gonna have a conversation. What's he about to do? You don't have a conversation off to the side like that unless he's getting a deal. He, there's gonna be a deal happening because that's like straight up handcuff situation if he was serious about it, right? Like that's, that's my best guess. <laughs> what can I do then? I, I feel awful. Go. Hmm. Are we gonna talk about this? Maybe later. Knowing what I think I know about his character, I feel like he's really good at hiding what he's truly feeling. And I think, I, I feel like he is lava hot right now. <laughs> under, the, under all of what we're just seeing right there, I wonder if I'm right. Where's your house? My tent's right up there. My tent. Jupiter. Jupiter. You oh are my god! Missed. It's that guy, dude. Perfect. This guy plays a good hippie. I think he's been a hippie before. <laughs> His name's Jupiter. <laughs> and is this <laughs> the one I wrote to you about? Nice of you to bring her a blanket. Uh -huh. It is chilly. <laughs> Fuck off, Rick. We should get a divorce. Why not, right? <laughs> It's been a year. Things are serious with my girlfriend, it seems. You had me at divorce. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> the engagement ring that Fuck. I gave you, it was my grandma's. Fuck. And it means a lot to my family. It's not a problem, is it? She's got to go buy that back, right? I can't remember what she did with that. Welcome, Deborah. What's going to be her hippie name? De <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wait a minute, the guy in the front? I remember him from something, I think. You have it, thank God. So, oh, no. let's talk price. Come you in. had three months to buy it back for 1900 It's now 6000 Oh, 6, shit. Please, I, I'm getting divorced. Can, can you just take what I have and, and put it on hold? Give you a couple of days. I would have offered him three. I would have been like, come on. Depending on how long it was anyway. I would have been like, I'll give you three. Come on. Be part of our community, you gotta contribute. No work, no eat, no heat, right? So we all pitch in, and right now we need to aerate the compost. Oh, that was a sound. Mixed with what we get from the latrine. Ah, uh, yeah. That's human shit. Oh. oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Jesus! That is disgusting! That is fucking so disgusting! Oh, my stomach is still turning right now, dude. Oh, I'm dizzy. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> that is not. Yeah, you move in with us, and I'll meet with the USC guy, or whatever his name is. Are you forgetting something? You're still married. Shit. 
Not to her, to some other chick. I never filed divorce papers. Jesus Christ, that's still a thing? So you two are not married? We had a pretend wedding, but... Oh. I'm not following her. Gay marriage. It's legal in Illinois. Oh, shit. Ah. Uh... So gay. You said you do it. How's this any different? What? Uh... <laughs> well, all right. If that's what you want, okay, I guess. <laughs> He's... <laughs> You gotta love him. You gotta love him. He's just a big old fucking teddy bear. This barely covers the bus to get here. That's that not true. Yeah, I guess that's <laughs> almost true. What can I say? It's a shitty job. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're not dead. You're not in prison, so there's an upside. Pretty hard to see the upside right there, especially when you're spending hours in there. Uh, don't, don't tell him it's me, Tom. It's someone else, okay? What's going on? Oh, shit. Whoa. Where are you? McCormick Park Hotel, uh, Water Street, and Columbus. Room 218. Try not to talk to the front desk if you can help it. This isn't not, this is not gonna be good. This isn't gonna be good at all. What, you're keeping my grandma's ring and you want a list of my assets? I never told a lawyer. No, no, hey, that's fine. All right? But I just want you to remember, this is how you wanted to play it. Someone's dead. Yeah. Oh, shit. Who's he? This is his name's Andy. Who knows? Escort. God damn it, Mandy. Scary situation. I'm just kind of like, sorry, I'm a, a bunch of random memories just kind of rolling back on that one. One, two, three. Wait, 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 wait. Are there security cameras in hotel hallways? Uh, really? We are not pushing him out a window. I tell you the second floor. <laughs> he had kind of an evil genius kind of look to him when he looked out of the body. Listen to me. You don't tell me you're an escort. You say that, that you, you met the guy at the bar that you brought back to your room that, that you had rough sex. Paramedics will get here, they'll check him out, they'll see he died of a stroke. And then you called it in. Is that what he died of though? There was blood on the ground. Is that just from him hitting the ground? I wonder what that's gonna turn into. If you like that highlight and you wanna see more of me watching this completely unedited, hit that link below. Seven Deadly Bananas on Patreon. Get in there and start watching TV with me. <laughs> Hello? Oh shit, okay. One sign followed up by a very, very extreme sign. Did he get his stomach pumped? Hello? Back from the dead? Hey, where, where am I? Cook County ER, receiving treatment for alcohol poisoning. Got his stomach pump. Okay, um, I gotta get out of here, okay? It's gonna be a few more hours. You're lucky to be alive. You're lucky you got in the hospital. That's fucking real shit. That's scary as hell. I've woken up from, I've, I've blacked out probably a, do, a half a dozen times. They're, they're all very memorable the next day. It is not fucking fun. And basically blacking out drunk is a very minor form of ODing on, on alcohol. Alcohol is a poison. It destroys your shit. I keep seeing Will holding a gun in his hand. Over and over, it plays in my mind. If I lost custody, it's your fault? I just tell myself it was an isolated incident. It was. But you let Liam find a pile of coke. Shit. So I can get my head around you being a heroin addict, an ex-con having killed a guy, and this is a deal breaker? Hold up. So I get that she spun that to him. I get that. But I don't think that's a fair scenario because he is actively working to try and work past that. He's going to meetings. He's doing steps. He's actually, he's, he's practicing steps. She, I mean, while she is also doing some things to actively do this, she is still making shitty decisions with other pieces of her life that are affecting him, obviously. Case in point, exactly what's going on right now. No, I'm heading out to get divorced right now because I jumped from relationship to relationship without ever catching my breath, which is why my life is such a fucking mess. That's interesting how I was literally just talking about this. Now I feel like shit. As a matter of fact, a little piece of me feels like shit. I don't like being right on this, on this stuff. I don't because it's just like, I know a lot about how I felt in these exact moments. I was spe I'm was i speaking a lot from experience, but this is the harsh reality. She, she, Fiona has this track record and she literally just even spelled it out to him. That's a really hard place to get out of. I absolutely, I absolutely know that one. Sweetheart, you sound exhausted. It's too quiet up here, I couldn't sleep. 
Back home, I sleep through gunshots and sirens. Oh, did you try to climax before you went to bed? Oh, my God. Here. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I've never even had an orgasm. Oh, my God. Deborah, it liberates a woman to know her body. I'm only against the circumstances. <laughs> I'm not against the education that's about to happen with this. <laughs> That makes me so uncomfortable. But this is more of an educational thing rather than like the usual fucking pedo stuff that she's been doing, she's been involved with whatever in the past. My two cents. Masturbation is okay. <laughs> <laughs> How come everyone else is getting off, and, but Frank is getting tortured? <laughs> How was I? As it should be, honestly. <laughs> he deserves every minute of that. Fuck you, Fiona. What? The F word song. Fuck you, Fiona. Your ex wrote it, right? My nephew watches it on YouTube. Huh? And you were entitled to have the royalties in perpetuity. It's not worth anything. I never get a shot at cases with a payoff. Not gonna happen that way, is it? She's gonna find reason to set free the shark, isn't she? I don't want to leave. You willing to spend your life chanting in a mildewing tent? These people care about me and my baby. Now I'm a fucking stay, everyone. <laughs> I think this lesbian wedding is a bad idea. My daughter's gonna grow up thinking they have two moms and I'm some weird guy hanging out at the house. And what if your pretend wedding is better than our pretend wedding? Cal. No, bullshit. From now on, neither one of us is gonna marry anyone else. <laughs> You're still married, dude. Shut up. <laughs> I don't care how serious he tries to look, you can never really take him seriously. Like, you can tell, like, it's just not all the way there. Sorry, were you hoping to screw me over one last time? Were you hoping to? Can you, can you, can you give us a moment, please? Blood in the water, uh, and I am a shark. And I am a shark. This, this is not gonna be good. Liquid Holdings in Chicago and your parents' home state of New Mexico. Stocks, mutual funds, material acquisitions, <laughs> frequent flyer miles. Jesus Christ. We should order lunch. This may be a while. Ah! <laughs> Maybe it'll end up being good. I don't know. If, to avoid it, just say fuck off. But I was dancing in this club last year. Blue guys for 50 bucks. So there's no judgment. I just didn't like starving myself to fit in that gold thong. <laughs> you know that just because we were born here doesn't mean that we end up here. Nice. Seems like both of them needed to hear that. Yeah, Are these poppies? Uh, yep, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. You're farming opium? Well, you didn't think we uh, How did I call opium right off the bat? Did you? <laughs> and the generator powers the light. Fucking shit. How did I call that? How did I fucking call that? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I said opium, right? I totally said opium. Plan is make enough money to buy some land in Kauai and live there in luxury. Whoa, 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 Frankie, Frankie, that's enough. It's beautiful. Jesus. That's a shit ton of poppies, dude. That's some Wizard of Oz shit. A man in reception says he needs to speak with Miss Gallagher. Uh-oh. Credit card. I figured I'd never loan you that money for the house. So. That was $900. This is six grand. We got him down to four. What? I was upset. I am upset. Because that's how it is sometimes. Shit gets ugly, people get upset. But I don't want to lose you over this. I did go to the store, bought this. No fucking way. Make a big entrance. Oh, if no I was gonna propose, fucking way. Kind of heart to top, don't you think? I'm gonna do it. There no. Go. Don't do it. No fucking way, dude. Seriously, are you gonna do it with the ring? You're not serious. 100%. <coughs> Fiona Gallagher. Oh, and he's opening the yeah. door. What's Gus gonna do? I'll get you now. Cheaper? It's gonna have to be. Aw, that poor lawyer can't screw anybody out of money anymore. That's an interesting take. Oh, God. Grandma? Grandma! What's Grandma! gonna happen? Oh, God. <laughs> I fucking knew it, dude. I fucking knew it. 
Okay, what is that gonna mean? Hopefully, does, is he doing that in order to like clear up the whole divorce and not make it so everybody's acting like a jackass and trying to get people money and all this other shit? Hopefully, because that's a really, again, a very an adult thing to do, you know? <laughs> Why bother turning it into something when you don't have to? Great episode, great episode. Fuck Frank, still, still saying fuck Frank. <laughs> That's just gonna be the going theme for the rest of these episodes. Thank you very much for joining everybody. I absolutely appreciate it. Thanks again for all your support and we will see you on the next episode.